nativity tomorrow when the mummies and daddies come. So just settle down and if you could just keep your hands where I can see them please. <laughs> we'll uh, I'll go through my notes. Right first of all um, oh Joseph please don't do that to Mary. <laughs> it's not very nice and I have told you about it before. Just don't do it. Oh, Mary, Mary, very touching that bit on the donkey. I like that. Do remember, however, that if you're pretending to be pregnant, you only need one small cushion down the front of your tummy. Well, I just think that two in your vest and one in your knickers and two up your trousers is a little... Um, Shall we say excessive? <laughs> well, did you really need to tell Mary and Joseph that there is plenty of room at the inn? <laughs> well, I'd love to do an alternative nativity play as well, but not this year, OK? And the mummies and daddies won't have a chance to see them. 
If you've just booked Mary and Joseph into a twin bedroom with an ensuite bath and a satellite <laughs> dish. <laughs> Joseph! If you do that to Mary one more time, I will swap you with one of the sheep. And then, <laughs> then you won't have any lines to say at all. Do you understand? Do. You really need to come on whistling the theme tune to match the day. <laughs> I mean, I don't think the wise men were football fans, you know? Yes, Tommy? You think they were? Because they used to sing, We Three Kings of Orient Are, and Orient is your favourite team. It will be all right on the night. <laughs> Direct from busking in one thing, we have got Mr. Ralph Wick. You never forget your first real love, first time you really care. I'm older now and a wiser man, I've money. I have friends, but the more you learn, the less you know, and that process, it never ends. But fate never sleeps, but stands in wait to give your lives a shove. Tomorrow is my wedding day, when I marry my own first love. My own first love You never forget your first love In your heart A special place The sweetest pain you'll ever know The time cannot erase My own first love Councillor Drinkwater's sister, <laughs> uh, who is appearing with kind permission from the home. <laughs> You'd like a tea, would you? What kind would suit? <laughs> I won't read out the whole list, otherwise you'll lose the will to live. <laughs> Our most popular ones are English breakfast and Earl Grey. Although recently, we've had quite a few requests for apple. <laughs> Mind you, my opinion, you might as well have a glass of fruit juice. <laughs> we do have some green tea, but quite frankly, they're more suited to stripping paint. <laughs> Beryl has had one of her turns. Yes, she was putting out the chocolate chip cookies when her face went this strange shade of puce. <laughs> I was just telling this gentleman, Beryl, about having one of your turns this morning. Yes, now don't get up, dear. Stay where you are. Keep your head between your legs. <laughs> Take a bit of inside information regarding Mrs. Mrs. Prendergast baking. I'd recommend steering clear of the lemon drizzle, unless you're particularly partial to something very tart. <laughs> we had this posh woman in last week, didn't we, Beryl? I was just telling Robert about that woman. Oh, what a performance. Wanted a, a macchiato with goat's milk and hold the sugar. Well, I ask you, I mean... Do we look like a branch of Cafe Nero? <laughs> what are you staring at, Beryl? Look, somebody's run them up with the tomato sauce on table number three. Look lively, then. We don't want the four mica getting stained, do we? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm afraid that our star turn has not been able to get up 
uh, get here. <laughs> so, we're going to have Councillor Drinkwater's nephew, Mr. Ralph Wigg, again. Maid Marian was his missus, and she had two lovely eyes and feet as big as boats. But he let her hang around, cause she's the only bird he found. What could bring him out is nodding a leaf in post, of course. Oh, Robin was a bloke, and he owned many bows. He kept them all nice and clean. He died in his prime at the age of 89. With a nasty case of eyeball gangrene. Oh, Robin was a bloke and he owned many bows. He kept them all nice and clean. He died in his prime at the age of 89. With a nasty case of eyeball gangrene. Not bad, not bad. 69, man. He had a fight. On a log with a bloke called Little Jog And he made Robin look a proper twin He upped with his pole and he scored a perfect goal And he knocked a Robin flying in the water Mustn't mind <laughs> When he came to singing songs They could not go wrong The minstrel's name was Alan the Dale he minstrel through the day and he minstrel through the night So they drowned him in a keg of what his players the other ones Oh, Robin was a bloke and he owned many bows He kept them all nice and clean He died in his prime at the age of 54 Where the nasty case of Bible gangrene Even better He was walking through the wood this Randy Robin Hood with most of his merry men went to make the song real crude by them dashed and nude and he never seen his merry men again a fellow was being hung Robin said that's wrong I'll stop this XIQ Cheyenne he said so he loaded up his bow and he let his arrow go and he shot the poor bugger through the air Oh, Robin was a bloke and he owned many bows He kept them all nice and clean He died in his prime at the age of 37 With an nasty case of Bible gangrene The friar's name was Tuck and he didn't give a damn He'd never ever help him in a fight He wouldn't help him hunt the lazy rotten Prior, he just sat around and fed himself all night. Oh, Robin was a bloke and he owned many bows. He kept them all nice and clean. He died in his prime at the age of 89 with a nasty case of eyeball gangrene. As long as blokes are here, as long as birds drink beer, as long as two and two make five. While inland revenue keep on fleecing me and you, the name of Robin Hood will stay alive. It'll bounce across the land, it'll be passed from hand to hand, his deeds exaggerated by the gross. They'll glorify his name, they'll cover up his shame, the thieving lying rat bag that he was. <laughs> By a lonely harbour wall She watched the last star falling As the prison ship sailed out against the bay Now she waits, she hopes and prays For her love in Botany Bay It's so lonely around the fields of Atherai Oh, lie the fields of Athenry, where once we watched the young free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely around the fields.
dreams about them right. Let's do that once more. And rhyme, where once we watched the young free birds fly. Our love was on the wing, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely around the fields of Atham It's so lonely around the fields of Atham Thanks for listening. Our trio are going to give you a tune. <laughs> <laughs>